Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative therapies. All right, today I'm discussing sheep stem cell therapy. Yes, you heard that right. Sheep, as in the animal. Uh, I brought along a friend of mine. This is Precious. Say hello. Hello. So sheep uh, are being used for stem cell therapy since the 1930s. Uh, it was developed, and I have no idea why people still do it. Um, it's called Live Cell Therapy, LCT, and there are clinics in Germany, Switzerland, and the Philippines. And I know this because we get a lot of calls from individuals who have tried it before or they're thinking about doing it. And there are several reasons why you should never do an animal stem cell therapy. Um, and let me explain why. So they tout this as being a, a great treatment for anti-aging or for treating and, and curing uh, many different disease conditions. They actually use the word cure, which it does not cure, okay? But here's what happens. They will uh, raise sheep and then kill a pregnant mother, okay? because they take out the fetus and then grind up the fetus, the organs, to then give that to a patient. Um, I asked Precious about this and she said, please don't kill me. <laughs> I mean, that is terrible uh, in and of itself, right? You're killing a pregnant animal so that that mother is dead and then the fetus doesn't have the chance to even you know get born right so that is just heartbreaking and ridiculous all at the same time now they will then take that concoction and inject it into patients uh, that day okay um, back about 10 years ago um, there was an outbreak uh, not really an outbreak but eight patients from New York went to Germany they got this LCT and then five of them developed very weird and serious symptoms for like a year and they couldn't figure out what was wrong with them. So finally they tested and found that they had something called Coxiella burnetti, which is a bacteria that causes a zoonotic disease known as Q fever. All right, Q fever is very unusual and that's the point is that bacteria that are found in animals like precious here are often unusual they're not the usual things that you know humans encounter hence very difficult to diagnose and the point additionally is that there really isn't significant quality control with sheep stem cell therapy right there's not like an FDA where we have a list of things that we need to test for such as we test for with human umbilical cord tissue bacteria virus um, fungus endotoxin hepatitis HIV syphilis so on and so forth so they don't have time to test for that if they're giving those you know right away there are some centers that are using uh, frozen um, sheep stem cells but even then they still don't have the regulatory standards that to go through that testing why because that testing is very expensive okay <laughs> all right so a couple additional things there were two patients back in the 80s one in the 90s um, a 69 year old who immediately collapsed after a fresh cell injection went into a coma she died a 76 year old woman who died uh, right after the uh, uh, treatment and she died as well they had an unusual fatal immune system reaction to the foreign cells so it's different than the human umbilical cord stem cell therapy where the stem cells are immunologically privileged all right they, you can get these types of, of episodes which can lead to weird bacterial infections or um, problems with uh, um, immunologic reactions which as these reports show can lead to death all right so take it from uh, precious here um, please don't kill me and please avoid sheep stem cell 
procedures. Thank you.